Hi folks, Mr. Carter here. Uh, again, ready to do home link 77. Go ahead and put your name on this if you haven't yet already, and let's begin. So we have some division number stories uh, we're working on today. Let's dig right in. So number one, Robert and Jason uh, want to buy a group ticket package for football games. Package A costs $276 and includes two tickets for each of six games. Package B cost $336 and includes two tickets for each of the eight games. Which package charges more per ticket and how much more per ticket? So to organize my thinking, I kind of made this table here. So right away you might say, well, package B costs more because it's $336 and this one's only $276, but that might not be the case because each package comes with a different amount of games. So if we look back at uh, package A, it costs $276. Well, the number of games, it's two tickets for each of six games. So if you're getting, you're going to six games and getting two tickets each, six times two, that's a total of 12 tickets. Okay, so that's the total of tickets. I actually should put tickets here, sorry about that. So the number of tickets is 12. Now, package B includes two tickets for each of eight games. So again, you're going to eight games and you're getting two tickets for each game. So that would be a total of 16 uh, tickets for package B. So you're getting more tickets. It's costing you more money, but it's, you're getting more tickets than package A. But we're trying to figure out how much does it cost per ticket. So what we're going to have to do is take our total cost and divided by the number of tickets that we have. So on this page here I have our division work that we're going to do. We have package A and it was $276 and $12 per ticket. So I'm going to start with, um, we're going to go right ahead and start with 10. 10 times 12 is 120 so I know that. So 6 take away 0 is 6, 7 take away 2 is 5, 2 take away 1 is 1. So now we're left with 156. Well, I know that we can do another 10, so we we'll go ahead and do that. So 10, 12 times 10 is 120. So again, we did we subtract. 6 take away 0 is 6. 5 take away 2 is 3. So now I know that it's 36. So I know in my head that 3 times 12 will get me 36. I'm going to go ahead and write and put 3 times 12 is 36. Now we hit our 0. Now we're going to add our side thing because we can't divide anymore. So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 3. So it's 23. So for package A, it's going to cost $23 per ticket. So let's figure out if package B costs more than that. So package B was a total of $336, and we got 16 tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and do like I did over here and start with 10. 10 times 16, well, that's 160. 6 take away 0, 6. No trades, so that's 2. 7 and 1. So I know that we can do another 10. 10 times 16 is 160. That gives us 6. 7 take away 6 is 1. 16. So we can buy one more ticket. So 1 times 16 is 16. We're left with 0. So we add our side thing. We've got 10, 21. So package B is costing us $21 per ticket. So it's actually a better deal to go with package B because they're less money per ticket. So package, so the question up here was, which package charges more per ticket? Well, that's package A. They're charging $23 per ticket. And they charge two more dollars because it's, Package B is only 21, so that's a difference of two. So that's how we do number one. All right, let's look at number two. 
Uh, Rebecca wants to put 544 pennies in a coin collection book. This book, the blue book, fits nine pennies per page, and the red book fits seven pennies per page. How many more pages would she need if she used the red book rather than the blue one? Well, to figure that out, for the blue book, we're going to have to go 544 divided by 9, because we have 544 pennies, and we can fit 9 pennies per page. And the red book, we can, uh, same amount of pennies, 544, but the pages are a little smaller, and you can only fit 7 pennies on that page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, here. So again, our blue book is 544 divided by 9. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to start with 50. Yeah, 5 times 9 I know is 45, and a 0 would make it 450. So I'm going to go right ahead and use that big number. Again, 5 times 9 is 45, and that extended fact would make it 450. 4 take away 0 is 4. Five, 4 take away 5 is our trade, so we'll go 4. We've got 14. And um, 14 take away 5 would be 9, 494. So I know that 9 times 10 is um, 90. So 9 times 10 is 90. So that leaves us with 4. We can't divide anymore. So we're going to have 60 pages with a remainder of 4. Now, when we're thinking about our remainder, we're going to have to put these four leftovers into a page. So instead of using 60 pages, we're going to need to make use 61 pages because we need to put these four pennies in, a, in the book as well. 44 pennies, just like the other blue book, but this time we're going to divide it by 7. So we're going to start with 50, because I know that 7 times 5 is 35, and that's an extended fact to make it 350. So uh, we're going to go ahead and subtract 4, take away 0 is 4. We're going to have to do some trading. 4, make that 14. 14 take away 5 is 9. 5 take away 3 is 1. So we're left with 194. So go ahead and let's do 10. 10 times 7 is 70. So 4 take away 0 is 4. 9 take away 7 is 2. And then 1, and we're left with 124. Well, let's go ahead and do another 10. 10 times 7 is 70, like we did it up there. So 4 take away 0 is 4, and we're going to trade, so we've got 12. 12 take away 7 is 5, so we're left with 54. Uh, so now I know that 7 times 7 is 49. That gets us really close to that 54. And when I subtract uh, 49 from 54, again, we can do the trading, get 14, take away 9, with 5. So we have a remainder of 5 because we can't divide 7 anymore. So 50, 60, 77 with a remainder of 5. So again, we're going to have to use 77 pages, but we're going to have to put these remaining 5 pennies into another page. So really we're going to have 78 pages. So if we look back at our blue book, our blue book we had 61 pages, and our red book we had 78 pages. So how many more pages was our question? So 78 take away 61, 8 take away 1 is 7, 7 take away 6 is 1. So it's 17 more pages. Let's go ahead and uh, Put that on here. So the red book's gonna will take 17 more pages than the blue book. Next question: What did you do with any remainders that you found? Well, we needed to add another page for each remainder. Add to add an extra page.
because we needed to put those remaining pennies somewhere. All right, so our um, practice here is some multiplication. So I'm going to do three and four for you, and you'll do um, five and six on your own. So 754 times six, going to do the traditional way. Six times four is 24, carry the two. Six times five, or five times six is 30, plus two is 32. Seven times six is 42, plus three would be 45. So it's 4,524. 4,524. All right. 906 times two, I'm gonna do lattice for that. So I went ahead and set my lattice up, a three by one, since it's a three by one problem. 906 for 906 and two. Six times two is 12. Put the one there and the two here. Zero times two is zero, but we have to fill both of these here with our placeholders of zero. Nine times two is 18. Put the one here and the eight here. So now we're gonna add our diagonals. So it's two, one plus zero is one. Eight plus zero is eight, and one plus one is one. So it's 1,812. All right, so it's 1,812. All right, that's it for now. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have questions. Take care.